about them. He doesn't think that way. And he says, let nothing be done through strife or being glory, but in lowliness of mind. That's what a true servant of God, a true servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the present day will have lowliness of mind gentleness in interaction and uh, meekness as we relate with each other and then let each esteem other better than themselves you understand uh, the, the the servants of god and the servants of the lord are not people that pitch down other people throw other people away and they say because I am the main servant and all the other people, if they don't like the way I'm doing it and the way I'm treating them, let them go anywhere they want to go. Uh -uh. It says you will esteem all the better than yourself. In verse 4, in verse 4 it says, look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Verse 5, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. As you serve, remember Jesus said, I am among you as he that serveth. It shows us the model. It shows us the example. And you have that mind in you. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. We're coming to point number two here. Point number two, we're looking at uh, the servant and uh, the servanthood to the Lord the just servanthood to the Lord. The just. We're looking at James again, chapter 1, verse 1. In James, chapter 1, verse 1, James is servant of God. Now, James, we must not be servants in mouth only, in words only. There must be the demonstration of being servant of the Lord as we reflect that in servanthood. It is what we do, it is how we do it, it is the benefit of what you do, it is the profit of what you do, it is the servanthood that shows we are real servants of the Lord. It said James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at Romans chapter 1, we are reading from verse 1. Romans chapter 1, verse 1. Paul is servant of Jesus Christ. He was antagonist of Jesus Christ. He said, I thought I must do many things against the Lord Jesus, but compassion came, transformation came, a change of life came, a change of direction came, and now it's no more sinning against the Lord, it's no more striving against the Lord, it's now a servant of Jesus Christ called to be an apostle separated unto the gospel.